Hello guys, we are at the Aria Buffet dinner time. <laughs> okay, let's start from one section. I've already just, well, already, just about an hour and a half ago, I reviewed lunch. And I was expecting significant changes, but there are not really that many changes. Um, but I'll show you. We'll start from this section, just up, just past the dessert, leek cakes. So so, nothing exceptional. Ooh, vegetable pot stickers. Mind you, you're supposed to use your hands anyway. <laughs> Shrimp, Argo. They were very nicely cooked. And steamed jasmine rice, of course. Miso soup and chicken lemongrass soup. Now that I have tasted it, I can tell you that it's actually one of my favorite soups here. Uh, it's very, very light. If you like Thai food, it's a little bit like a tom yum. Exactly, tom yum, really. Um, it's ideal in between meals so that you can, it helps you digest. It's a little trick I learned. Of course, doctors wouldn't be proud of the fact that one stops himself. Asian market vegetables and chicken vegetables, fried rice. Well, you know, I'll tell you if there's something outstanding, you know. The cheese here were, the, the blue cheese was delicious, a bit salty, but they are, aren't they? Then you've got other types of cheese, provolone, cheddar cheese. I don't know if it's just straight up mozzarella or goat cheese. I lament that there aren't just enough labels. This has been sitting here since lunch, so there's no reason why the labels shouldn't be there. You've got a made to order pasta section. I think people bypass it actually. Um, and then you've got spaghetti and meatballs and some more vegetables. You've got quite a lot of vegetables for those who are vegetarians. The Aria Buffet is definitely a good choice for that, though I think I love the MGM Grand too. And the vegetables there were really delicious, as well as everything else. Pizzas, you know, not bad. Oh, calzone. I said this for lunch, but let me see if they change the inside. I can't tell. Oh, it looks it's, it looks like it's... Does it look... Oh yeah, the same. It's uh, Capicollo and uh, the calzone on the outside. It was delicious for lunch. Very flavorful, very, very... A bit spicy too. Cannellini bean ragu, spicy Italian sausage, sorry. Vegetable lasagna, mm, nothing special. It wasn't really Italian, it was more like North American. A little bit like run of the mill. Vegan stuffed cabbage, it was fine. Baked rigatoni. And what I like is actually these, these uh, nuts. There are more nuts on the other side. Lovely presented, really beautifully presented. You've got tons of seafood, of course it's dinner, but you also have seafood for lunch. So. Um, Aria, you know, lunch is quite affordable, comparatively speaking, it's $23, I think, including taxes, roughly, maybe $25, I'll double check. I will write that on top-buffet.com. And uh, so you do have your seafood and including crab legs for lunch already, which is great for many of you, and, um, but also they have even more for dinner. Sushi? I prefer the one at MGM Grand, and of course, it's really good at Bacchanal. Um, and of course, a Tudai Sushi Buffet, obviously. Greek salad, variety of other salads, hummus, tzatziki, and uh, tabbouleh, a bit tasteless, I'm afraid, a bit tasteless. What was tasteful is in this the Indian section, the dal tarka, a little bit salty, but it was flavorful. And of course, your tandoori chicken. I like to have variety. There is plenty of variety at this buffet. Oh yes, and I want to show you this. Okay, we see these ones have come for dinner. Uh, the barramundi fish and these were also for lunch, the steamed crab and the hot crawfish boil, crawfish. But there are a couple of other dishes that have come in for dinner, and I'll show you. Fisherman's stew, it's a dinner, they just come through. Uh, fried cod and fish and chips really uh, were here for lunch as well. I prefer the ones at Mirage, definitely. And uh, in terms of fish burger, the one at Bacchanal was delicious. Finally, fresh potatoes and vegetable. Well, yams. It looks like yams and regular potatoes. Salmon, baked salmon. 
sweet potato and cranberry hash and this one was delicious if only it's a shame that it was a little bit not hot enough I mean a little bit not I wanted to say a little bit cold but that's just not exact not hot enough steamed clams and lemon garlic it's a mix like I said for lunch it's a mix between Tom Ka and just a lemon garlic sauce delicious not hot enough steamed mussels al diablo so obviously spicy and uh, some sections are closed because they're open for breakfast obviously tortilla soup onion soup and the chicken noodle soup just like lunch oh and here they've removed the breakfast section with all the nice cream cheeses of various um flavors it was very nice i want to show you it's very quiet right now you know it's um tuesday and it's about four four let me see no it's all 4 15 4 15. Okay, we've been here already. Let's continue the hot food section because otherwise I mix it all up. You've got here the meat section, which is fine with your um, grilled vegetables. Oh, you if you like grilled vegetables with your hot meat, you have to go to MGM Grand. It was amazing. Now I just hope that they continue, they maintain those standards because they're not easy to maintain. It takes such tight control of the dishes that come out but it looks good people are happy with it and then this section smells good too beef au jus primary rib there's plenty of, of options for meat lovers plenty of options plenty of options for lots of fish options as well especially for dinner but even for lunch actually now you got some bread I'm surprised that people still eat bread. I could, you know, like during buffet, buffet is when you really are, every little piece of you in your, every little area in your stomach is precious. And you don't want to fill it up with bread, but of course, it's just my personal experience and choice. Fingerling potatoes, so, so, you know, chicken hot pie, mac and cheese, sweet potato puree country style mashed potatoes a little bit well the ones that are me and Jim Grand were delicious MGM Grand were really lovely I don't know it looks too buttery to me cream corn and now I'm gonna show you the salad section baked Idaho potato house chili with beans why not cheese sauce and tortilla chips that's kind of remind me you know what that reminds me of reminds me of the flamingo no 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 scratch that of the Fremont buffet what it was better <laughs> now I, I've just come from there it was pretty bad the guacamole I'm afraid it's not up to par it's not up to par way better at MGM Grand at, at the Mirage buffet even if the Mirage buffet has declined in quality now May 2015 and I suspect it will get better what I liked was what I liked was this um, walnut these walnuts you know how important they are to one's diet right so they have them it's really a nice touch of course they don't have artichokes so it's pretty run-of-the-mill salad toppings really I like the, the olive oil there you know here that's nice Parmesan cheese you know but nothing outstanding I mean nothing really outstanding but it's good it's a, a good solid buffet area good solid buffet through and through there's a little bit for everybody I mean truly a little bit for everybody which is a nice change because some buffets have a lot of one type or it's just very heavy all around and this one has got a lot of variety so you know healthy stuff as well though personally I love healthy stuff I do but I expect it to be flavorful I don't think it's as savory as it should be and they've changed oh wow look at that they've, they've listened to me and they've answered my prayers <laughs> ready-made salads I need them I cannot mix them for myself I don't have my bowls here so but of course we don't know what kind of salads these are it looks like uh, it's a mixed really it's a regular standard salad with some white dressing that I cannot know what it is because there are no label with uh, some bacon with bacon and this one is another mix with apples uh, and it's not a salad I think this is kale 
kale. So they do provide things for those who are health conscious, which is very important because if you keep on eating meat and carbs only, forget about what they say, it's not healthy for you. But having said that, I really, really, really expect vegetables in particular to be prepared in a very flavorful way light yes but flavorful and not all buffets manage i really was very pleasantly surprised by mgm grand mgm grand have really has come leaps and bounds as they say okay sushi section did i say that already did i say that i can't remember i must have said something run of the mill mgm grand much better and of course bacchanal is excellent for the sushi and now i quickly want to show you the desserts i have to admit it's, it's good it's a good buffet it's a good buffet dinner is 30, 30 35 dollars plus tax 35 dollars so it's not cheap okay it's not cheap and i think yeah it's mostly because i think of the great variety of fish you know that's expensive stuff so for that reason but it's quiet it's a very i mean all it takes is a, a group of crazies <laughs> or a very rowdy family and they just and the quiet the peace goes away but i do like the room it's just so airy it's so aria through and through very beautiful and uh, the um the dessert section is the same as for lunch of course um i'll show you oh they've got gelatas but i'll show you in a minute okay these coconut macaroon i don't even know. we eat a lot of dessert but they were very very good not stale at all just perfect cinnamon bread pudding it was good i prefer regular pudding but it was good rice krispies brownies and croissant and i want to show you the other section i think i i really rushed through it which is not fair and so you get your flan kind of reminds me a little bit of the, of the choices that you have at mg at, at mirage Okay, so um, as I say, you know, you've got the choices of desserts that uh, are good, nothing outstanding, good. I mean, uh, and I'm going to show you the gelato right now, which I like, the, the gelato section, because some buffets have done away with gelato. It breaks my heart. But this is good. It's temperature controlled. Can you see it? And you've got a good choices of uh, assortment of gelatos. So all in all, it's a good buffet, as I said. I mean, um, the best, by far, the very best dessert section that I've had probably was, probably was at, uh, at, at Bacchanal, yes. But Bacchanal, they do really <laughs> prepare heavy dishes, <laughs> not so perfectly healthy dishes, in a divine way, so that for two days, you can't go to any more buffets. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's a little bit true, but you know. It's delightful. I, I would highly recommend it. And I recommend this buffet. It just is absolutely beautiful. And if you sit by the window, you enjoy this beautiful view of the jacuzzi here and the various pool areas. It's a stunning resort area. Even if it's not a theme resort. I like theme resorts better. But area is beautiful regardless. And um, so yes, is it worth $35? Well, I'll let you decide that. And if you really want to know my opinion, 